Hey there guys, my name is H. Chen, welcome back. Today, we're going to be having a look at some of the hidden cool features of some of the brand new items added into the 1.17 update, and some stuff you may or may not know already. So, our first small cool hidden feature, which I kind of like, it is usually with the amethyst blocks. Now, you don't want to go using the budding amethyst block, as you'll want to use the amethyst block for this. If you haven't noticed this yet, I've only realized this recently, since the update came out yesterday, and I wanted to share with you guys. So, using the amethyst block right here, so let's say you wanted to place it randomly in the air like this. You need to go and get yourselves a small amethyst bud, and when you use any of these medium, large, or small buds right here, you can easily go and press these onto the blocks right here. And funny enough, the large amethyst buds right here, they emit a small amount of light, which I think finds very cool. And once you take it away, you'll notice that that block of light just small and slowly disappears off the actual block. In addition, using an iron pickaxe, you'll need at least to mine these amethyst blocks with the amethyst crystals on. And if you use a non-silk -touch, touch pickaxe, you will at least get four amethyst buds or crystals dropping out of it. Then, a really cool thing, once you get these amethyst shards, these can be used to make tinted glass, or even if you want to turn into spy glasses. Now, another thing that you can only find in a specific biome is the azalea leaf right here. So the azalea leaves right here, these bad boys, you can only find in the lush cave biomes. These cave biomes right here will be very, very tricky to find, as you will need to have, have traveled quite some time inside caves to find these beautiful things which sometimes might have spore blossoms added onto them, only found in caves, or sometimes it might have flowers or be a plain azalea leaf, which can be made into azalea leaf bushes like this. So, with our next feature right here, this is with the big drip leaf. If you haven't used these yet, or found these yet, or tried them out, it's very simple. These things can be used in any redstone sort of machinery, but without any redstone, and they are very freaking useful. I'll tell you why. With these right here, they have a 40 ticks to for 2 seconds, and the plant tilts, and the player or mob falls through them. So if you stand on them too long, they start to tilt, and they basically lead you to your death, or to a nice place wherever they're going. And once you let go of them, and move off, they go back to where they originally were. So then you just go and do that again, as you can see, two ticks right there, and it go down. Our next cool feature returns back to the amethyst, so with the budding amethyst, a really cool thing to know about this is when it receives a random tick, it has a 20% chance of generate or to grow an amethyst bud, small or medium right here. Relatively rare generates only in amethyst geode structures and only obtainable in creative mode. Moving on to our next block right here, which is the calcite block right here, which is one of the new blocks you'll find in the caves. It spawns between smooth basalt right here, which is these two dark blocks over here, and blocks of amethyst. And it's quite a similar block to the the right block right here in texture and it looks kind of similar but it's a bit more smoother as you'll notice it's a little bit more whiter than this block over here and it can be found underground surrounding the outsides of amethyst geode formations so if you find a lot of amethyst blocks around here with a lot of smooth basalt it'll generally look like a crystal like it does in real life. Now, with this example right here, we have got a little contraption that we've made where we filled this area with a bucket of powdered snow, and we've spawned a skeleton into here. If a skeleton stays for way too long in a pile of powdered snow, funny enough, it will turn into a stray. And as you can see right here, after a few seconds, it has literally just turned into a stray like this. If you spawn a goat near 
a load of powdered snow. Funny enough, it will try to avoid it or even in worst case scenarios, jump across the powdered snow. So, apart from that guys, that is literally it for this video. Apologies if it was short, but I did just want to show you some cool things you may or may have not have known already. Let me know what you think, and if I've missed anything out, let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. My name's Hei Chen, and I will see you in the next one.